here, but it's time to welcome a Walk of Famer in his own right, Hugh Jackman. This goes against every theatrical instinct of my life. And I'm just going to turn away from everybody. In fact, I might just turn the whole thing around. Kevin, yeah, let, let me just say, this is so awesome, but if you have any Australian friends, do not tell them about this because they will find it and what they're going to do to it late at night, it's not right. It's just not right. What are they going to do to it? All right. So, so happy to be here today. There are, there are so many things that make Kevin a success. But above all, he knows that to make a great movie, you need a great story. And I have one to share today that I think I might be uniquely qualified in telling. It's a Kevin Feige origin story. Story. Don't worry, Mum and Dad, I'm not going back that far. It's okay. It's an I knew him when story because uh, I first met Kevin 25 years ago on what was for both of us our very first movie. He was the assistant to the producer, Lauren Schuler, who is here today. By the way, if anyone wants to check out, I want someone to check up. I don't know how many, but I think you must set a record, Lauren, for the amount of people who have worked for you, who have gone on to be leaders in this industry, and that is not a coincidence. You're a class act, me included, by the way. So anyway, he was the assistant to the producer. I'd been flown up to audition for X-Men, and I remember I was in LA at the time, and this stretch limousine pulled up at 5.30 in the morning. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And uh, even though I'm not actually getting to go into Disneyland, at least I'm gonna arrive at the park in style. Um, so I get there, I get ushered into the director's office at lunch, only to find out then that the movie had already been shooting for like two days, I think, when I did that first audition. And you know when an actor says, I knew I was going to get the part well I really knew I wasn't going to get the part in fact everybody knew I wasn't going to get the part because there just wasn't a part to be had 